everyone. I welcome you all to the weekly weather briefing program of IMD. I am Trishanu. The southwest monsoon has made steady progress. As of 21st of May, it has advanced into part of South Arabian Sea, Maldives and Comorin area and also over the Bay of Bengal including the central and northeastern region of Bay of Bengal. The northern limit of monsoon now runs through the 5 degree north, 60 degree east, 6 degree north, 65 degree east, 7 degree north, 70 degree east, 7 degree north, 75 degree east, uh, 10 degree north, 81 degree east, 13 degree north, 84.5 degree east, 16 degree north, 88 degree east, 19.5 degree north and 91 degree east to 23 degree north and 95 degree east. During the past week, a heavy to very heavy rainfall was observed over the coastal Karnataka and Konkan Goa from 19 to 21st of May. Northeast India, especially Meghalaya, saw extremely heavy rainfall on 20th and 21st of May and extremely heavy rainfall was experienced by Kerala and Mahe on 20th May and again Konkan Goa on 21st of May. Thunderstorm and hail event including the gusty wind more than 40 km per hour and lightning also reported from various part of the northwest India, part of the peninsular India during 15 to 18 May. Eastern and northeast India also experienced widespread thunderstorm activity with gusty wind and lightning activity later part of this week. And hailstorm was also reported from Odisha, Gangetic West Bengal, Jharkhand, West Madhya Pradesh during 15 to 19 May. Western Himalayan region, specifically Himachal Pradesh, received hailstorm during 18 to 21st of May. East Uttar Pradesh, East Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh also reported hail events on 21st of May. Heat wave to severe heat wave condition were also seen in isolated part of Jambu divisions and Rajasthan. India received 106% above normal rainfall during the past one week. Now moving further and talking about the significant synoptic systems during the past one week, there was a fresh western disturbance observed as a trough in middle tropospheric westerlies. On 17th May, its axis was located around 55 degree east and north of 32 degree at about 3.1 km above mean sea level. By 18th May, it shifted to around 61 degree east and north of 36 degree uh, and rising to 5.8 km altitude. On 19th May, it was positioned near 72 degree east and north of 32 degree. The trough continued to move eastward and lying near 80 degree east and north of 28 degree on 20th May. Around 82 degree and north of 25 degree on on 21st of May. An upper air cyclonic circulation was also located over Punjab and the surrounding regions at around 1.5 km above mean sea level on 21st of May. An upper air circul uh, cyclonic circulation was present over central Assam at about 0.9 km above mean sea level on 16th of May and it persisted over the same region extending up to the 1.5 km above mean sea level during 17 to 21st of May. A trough extended from southeast Bay of Bengal to North Kerala on 18th May, passing over the cyclonic circulation in southwest and adjoining southeast uh, Bay of Bengal and central Tamil Nadu between 1.5 and 5.8 km above mean sea level, tilting southwestward with height. On 19th May, it extended from southeast Bay of Bengal to north interior Karnataka, crossing the cyclonic circulation over west central and adjoining southwest Bay of Bengal. South coastal Andhra Pradesh and Royal Sima within the same height range and tilt. The trough become less marked on 20th of May. Now talking about the weekly rainfall and also the rainfall from uh, for the season starting from the 1st March up to the uh, 22nd of May that is today. Uh, there are uh, around 15% above normal rainfall in average has been reported all over the country and if we talk about the weekly rainfall during the past one week in average country receive 106% above rainfall activity. Now 
talking about the last one week thunderstorm activity you can clearly see here the regions which is marked by the red color specifically the northeastern state states over the east coast of india and also over the peninsular part of india where more than six days thunderstorm has been reported within the past one week specifically the northeastern state assam meghalaya tripura mizoram manipur nagaland including the eastern indian state bihar west bengal chhattisgarh odisha coastal and also peninsular indian state like coastal andhra pradesh tamil nadu uh, Karnataka and in west coast of India like uh, coastal Karnataka those are the regions where during the past one week we have received more than or equal to six number of thunderstorm associated days and if we move towards the western part or central part of the India where uh, Madhya Pradesh then Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan Goa, Uttar Pradesh Uttarakhand and Jambu Kashmir those are the states where four to five number of thunderstorm days has been reported during the past one week if you look at the states over the western part of the India specifically the Gujarat Rajasthan and Punjab we reported comparatively less amount of thunderstorm days during the past one week now moving further and talk about the hail reported days information here you can see the most hail incident has been reported from the Himachal Pradesh and four uh, hail associated days was reported during the past one week and apart from that other states like the eastern part of the Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Orissa, Bihar, uh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and West Bengal including the North Indian state Jammu Kashmir, uh, Punjab, Haryana and also Himalayan state uh, Uttarakhand received one to three number of hailstorm associated days during the past one week now talking about the gusty wind within the range of 40 to 60 kmph throughout the last one week you can clearly see here the most gusty wind has been reported from the Marathawara and also other if you see the orange color associated region like the western part of the Madhya Pradesh Vidarbha, Telangana, South Interior Karnataka, Odisha, West Bengal, Bihar and also Himalayan state like Uttarakhand, northwestern part of the Indian state like Punjab, Haryana received 4 to 5 days of gusty wind in between 40 to 60 kmph. Now moving further and if we see the gusty wind reporting information which is more than 60 kmph and within the 100 kmph range you can see here Madhya Maharashtra and Jharkhand reported 4 number of high amount of gusty wind which is within the range of 60 kmph to 100 kmph has been reported from these two region of India. Now moving further and talking about the heavy to very heavy rainfall associated days where you can say sub Himalayan West Bengal and Tamil Nadu repeat, re reported uh, 6 or 7 uh, throughout the week these two region reported heavy to very heavy rainfall and also the region like northeast Indian state Assam Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur and also the coastal Andhra Pradesh and the no, uh, north interior Karnataka this is the regions where four to five number of heavy rainfall associated days has been reported during the past one week now if we talk about the extremely heavy rainfall associated days you can clearly see here the west coast of the India specifically the Konkan Goa coastal Karnataka and Kerala and over the northeastern state Assam and Meghalaya reported extremely heavy rainfall during the past one week over the uh, Meghalaya and Assam there are two days where we have reported the extremely heavy rainfall and over the Konkan, Goa and coastal Karnataka there are one day we have received the extremely heavy rainfall during the past one week. Now talking about the dust storm last one week one dust storm has been reported from the eastern part of the Uttar Pradesh. 
now talking about the advance of southwest monsoon the condition are likely to become favorable for monsoon onset over kerala during the next two to three days the condition are also likely to become favorable for further advance of southwest monsoon over some more parts of south arabian sea remaining parts of maldives and comorin area some parts of lakshadweep and kerala and karnataka tamil nadu some more parts of south central bay of bengal north bay of bengal and some parts of north eastern state during the same period the northern limit as i already mentioned northern limit is passing through the different latitude and longitude that i already mentioned and talking about the week 2 the southwest monsoon is likely to advance over remaining parts of south peninsular and northeast india and some parts of the east and central india during the week Two. and also there are two more important development first one is today morning at 5 30 hours ist a low pressure area has been formed over east central arabian sea of south konkan goa coast and this uh, a low pressure system is likely to move nearly northward and intensify further into a depression during the next 36 hour there is also possibility of its further intensification thereafter and second system another low pressure area is likely to form over west central and adjoining north bay of bengal around 27th of may and this system is likely to become more marked during the subsequent two days that is 20 and by 29th of uh, May now moving further and talking about the forecast based on the extended range forecast model for the next two weeks here you can see here there is a higher positive rainfall anomaly is likely on the west coast and south and west central Bay of Bengal rainfall is likely to be above normal in coastal Andhra Pradesh Telangana Maharashtra Central India East India and Uttar Pradesh below normal rainfall is likely over Northeast India yeah to talking about the week 2 activity higher positive rainfall anomaly is likely on west coast and north bay of bengal rainfall is likely to be above normal in most part of india except tamil nadu and south interior karnataka now talking about the extended range forecast of maximum temperature for the next two weeks for week one maximum temperature is likely to be above normal over many parts of west rajasthan some parts of shorastra Kach, Jambu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. Now talking of the week 2 activity, maximum temperature is likely to be below normal in most part of India. Now talking about the forecast of heat wave during the next two weeks, heat wave to severe heat wave condition in isolated pockets of west rajasthan is likely during 22nd to 24th of may heat wave condition very likely in isolated pockets of jambu punjab haryana chandigarh north madhya pradesh on 22nd and 23rd of may and over the east rajasthan during 22nd and 24th and over the west rajasthan on 25th and 26th of may hot and humid weather is also likely to prevail over tamil nadu puducherry karaikal on 22nd and 23rd of may warm night condition is very likely to few pockets of south haryana punjab on 22nd and 23rd and west rajasthan during 22nd and 24th of may during the week two there is no possibility of heat wave over any part of the country now moving further and uh, talk about the cyclogenesis information during the next two weeks two weeks there is a high probability of formation of cyclonic circulation over the east central and adjoining northeast arabian sea and there is a moderate uh, to low probability of formation of the cyclonic circulation over the southeast bay of bengal during the week one during the week two moderate probability of cyclogenesis is indicated over northwest arabian sea and another zone with moderate probability is indicated over the bangladesh and adjoining west bengal which could be due to the remnant of the respective system of week one
Now talking about the weather forecast and warning that already briefed in the daily weather video program for the next one week weather warning due to the uh, formation of the low pressure area over the Arabian Sea as I already mentioned due to this system light to moderate rainfall at most places with heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely at isolated places over Konkan Goa and coastal Karnataka and Madhya Maharashtra during 22nd to 27th of May. However, this rainfall, uh, however, the rainfall can increase with heavy to very heavy at few places with extremely heavy at isolated places during 22nd to 24th of May, uh, specifically over Konkan and Goa. And on 24th May, over coastal Karnataka and Madhya Maharashtra, light to moderate rainfall at most places with isolated heavy rainfall is very likely over South Gujarat from 23rd to 27th of May. Squally wind speed uh, reaching up to 35-45 kmph km per hour gusting to 55 km per hour is prevailing over east central Arabian Sea along and off Konkan, Goa and South Gujarat coast. It would increase becoming 40-50 km per hour gusting to 60 km per hour on 23rd of May and 45-55 km per hour gusting to 65 km per hour on 24th May and further increment up to 55 to 65 km per hour gusting to 75 km per hour during 25th to 27th of May. Sea condition is likely to be rough till 23rd May night over East Central Arabian Sea along and off Konkan, Goa and South Gujarat coast. It is likely to become rough to very rough from 24th to 27th of May. And fishermen are advised not to venture into the East, Central and Southeast Arabian Sea and along and off Kerala, Karnataka, Konkan, Goa, South Gujarat, Daman Dio, Dadar and Nagar Haveli coast and Lakshadweep area during 22nd to 27th of May. Small ships shipping activity are to be monitored and regulated during 25th to 27th of May. Total suspension of fishermen operations over east central and adjoining northeast arabian sea is advised fishermen out at sea are advised to return to the coast by 23rd of may afternoon that's all for today thank you very much and stay tuned with imd